Okay, it's Friday, June the 22nd. This is my latest executive principal blog for the Capital Learning Federation. Um, the main headline news since my last blog uh, is that Bristol Metropolitan Academy was inspected just before half term and was judged by uh, Ofsted to be a good school, uh, which represents fantastic progress and achievement from their starting point when the Academy joined us and in fact opened in September 2009. We've seen some magnificent uh, progress at Bristol Met in terms of the quality of teaching, certainly in terms of the quality of exam results over the last couple of summers, and, and well, that will be repeated again this year. Um, but for the inspection, particularly under the new framework, which uh, many schools up and down the country have found very challenging, um, to get that good judgment for all of its categories uh, was absolutely brilliant. So for us, it's outstanding with a small O. Um, and takes us on to that good to outstanding journey so that Bristol Metropolitan becomes an outstanding academy within the next three years. That's everybody's goal um, and it's a fantastic achievement of the staff um, but also from the way that the students have, uh, have bought into the academy and particularly the parents and the increase in the number of students joining us in year seven in September is a really good indication of the way that the community is bought into Bristol Metropolitan Academy and recognises the value of the partnership between the Cabot Learning Federation and its schools. Friday, July the 6th is our annual summer conference uh, in the Cabot Learning Federation and is in fact the fifth one um, that, we've, that we've done and every year it's been different, uh, every year it's been slightly larger as new academies have joined us uh, and this year is no exception. Once again we'll be at the University of the West of England um, and we will be joined by our current academies plus those uh, new members of staff that will be joining us in September from Culverhay when they become Bath Community Academy and our four local primary schools and the, the thing I'm most pleased about is that we're able to put together almost 70 workshops uh, for staff to choose that are delivered by staff for staff um, and this year there will be a particular profile around the staff from Bristol Metropolitan Academy sharing their Ofsted experience but also all of our specialist leaders in education through the teaching school will be leading workshops as well and that gives them a profile to establish uh, their talent and their skill um, as we move into the second year of becoming a teaching school. I've mentioned in previous blogs that we have four of our local primary schools becoming academies within the Federation this coming September um, and all have been through a rebranding process uh, and I'm delighted that we've settled on the names for the four new academies. Bedbrook Primary School will become Bedbrook Primary Academy, Summerhill Junior School will become Summerhill Academy, uh, Hillfields Primary will become Minerva Primary Academy and last but not least, Albury Court will become Froome Vale Academy. Uh, and I think that's a really interesting proposition for us in our community, that um, we're looking to give the schools a fresh start, to relaunch them, um, and in the same way as we want our secondary schools to complete their journey to outstanding, we want exactly the same for our primaries. And my final thought this month is that today is Adam Williams' final day as the principal of John Cabot Academy. Um, and is about to move to become principal of Bath Community Academy in September. So on Monday, John Angel, who's uh, our new principal designate, uh, will start at John Cabot, um, and Adam will make that transition. Uh, and I want to say a word about the work that Adam Williams has done. Um, Adam was my vice principal when I was still principal at John Cabot. Um, he moved into the principal role when I took on the executive role here, um, and he led the school to its second outstanding, and he is an outstanding principal. And I think it's to his credit that he wants to take on the challenge of our newest academy and to help that school deliver outstanding education for the community. Um, and I will work closely with Adam to make that reality come true for him and for the students of the new school. Uh, the next blog will come live from our summer conference on July the 6th at the University. Thank you very much.